This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12 Prom Number 21. The figure shows a section of the parabola with equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Which of the following numbers is positive? a, c, b, b plus c, c, a times c, d, b times c, or e, a times b. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be going over the solution. So to start, we want to try to figure out whether a, b, and c are each positive or negative, and then we can determine whether their various sums and products are positive or negative. So let's start with a. When we have a parabola in the form a, y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c, and the parabola opens up as so, it indicates that a is a positive number. If the parabola opens down, that indicates that a is a negative number. So the figure shows us a section of the parabola, which we can see is opened up like that form. So we know that a must be positive because the parabola is open upwards. Next, let's look at C, because I think that's a little bit easier to find than B. So, how do we determine our C value? Well, just by looking at this equation again, we can see that when x is equal to 0, our function is equal to C, because this term in this term, they basically both become zero. So we're just left with C. So we want to look at the graph and determine what value the function has when X is equal to zero, because that's equal to our C value. When X is equal to zero, that's equivalent to the Y axis. And we can see that that point of intersection is right here. It's a negative number, so that means that C is less than 0. Now, next, let's look at B. So we know that the x-coordinate of the vertex of a parabola is negative B over 2A. You might have learned this in algebra. If you didn't learn this in this exact format, another way you can think about it is that you basically have the sum of the two roots divided by two in order to find the middle point of those two roots, right? Because the vertex should be in between those two roots. So in order to find some of the roots, you might remember Vieta's formula, um, negative b r1 plus r2 is equal to negative b over a, and then divide that by two. So we can see that the vertex is somewhere over here. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is a positive number. So that means that the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is negative b over 2a, is a positive number. And we already know that a is positive. So we need negative b divided by 2a, and again 2a is a positive number. We need that quotient to be a positive number, which means that b must be a negative number Again, so that we'll have negative times a negative and end up with a positive value. So B must be negative less than zero. So now we have everything we need to solve the problem. Let's look through the answer choices to see which number is positive. So for A, we have C. Well, no, we determined that C is negative. For B, we have B plus C. No, we, de sorry, we determined that both B and C are both negative numbers, so their sum is also negative. For C, we have A times C. We have a positive number times a negative number gives us a negative product. For D, we have B times C. Now we're multiplying two negative numbers, so yes, we should end up with a positive number. I'm going to circle that, but let's just look at E to make sure. For E, we have A times B. Again, a positive number times a negative number gives us a negative product. So our correct answer is answer choice D, B times C.
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.